right, so we're expecting a front immediately. Um, the pressure has just dropped about six millibars within two hours. Um, there's a big old line of clouds behind us and uh, the wind has just backed about 20-30 degrees. So the sheet should hit the fan rather quickly. If we were cruising, I'd be with one rig for two for a long time and having already my storm jib uh, rigged. But we're racing so the idea is to keep as much canvas as we can as long as possible. So we're monitoring this closely and having the other watch ready to come on deck to drop the Yankee, the Yankee in a rush when the, when the wind starts blowing hard. Uh, but also might not happen, so it's always we're always on the bit uh, on the hedge of dropping a sail or not or increasing canvas. That's what makes the whole thing a bit more challenging. This looks clouds look quite dark. Actually, it's worse in front than there. Before weather turned bad we had to complete one particular task. Since with the clipper race, we are sailing in areas where not many people go, each leg in the Southern Ocean, three or four boats have been dropping drifter boys. They are floating device that as soon as launched, start transmitting position, temperature, pressure, and other information that are gathered internationally and help to get better weather forecast, but also just understand more about our oceans. These boys are left alone in the ocean for about three years and then are collected to be recycled. The front wasn't as punchy as expected, so which is pretty cool. Uh, lots of rain and not much wind, some thunder and stuff, but pretty good so far. We might have a trough passing during the night, which is kind of a tiny front uh, that might bring more wind, but so far, so good. Touching wood. Um, everyone's pretty happy. We have a nice uh, sunset, so yeah. Now you got three sausages and I can't have Did I? What? <laughs> I don't know. What? <laughs> Passing Tasmania and uh, tomorrow morning we'll be starting to head up north. 1,700 multiple miles up north to Early Beach. Uh, that's where the real start race starts with currents and squalls. So where the strategy and tactics are going to play a big, big time set. Go, go, go.
six hours ago we were 22 miles ahead from Bermuda and now we are about seven so there we chose the intro option they should, the, should choose the offshore option and it paid off much better now we're both stuck in the same area but still they did some really good gains um, might have been the same if we had chose the same option as them we'd still be stuck here but still I think we, we should have gone out anyway it is what it is now we're trying to make progress now so it's not gonna be that easy Right, it's today, 31st of December, somewhere in the world, uh, and in UTC, and on our boat, it's New Year's Eve. Look at this, what a party! with Yankee One and Stay Sail, changed at uh, 3, 2 in the morning we changed to uh, Code 3 and now we change it to Code 2, probably next watch we change to Code 1, the wind is dying. Hello, the golf course is not here miss, I'm sorry. I like it, okay, uh, Good on you. Manuel got it. He's is. Manuel got it. He's, he's the one doing the sack. Good job, everyone! We got a balance. Right, crew, my voice! Can you hear me alright? So, um, we're gonna go from heavyweight sheets to lightweight sheets. We are going through tweakers. Sorry. Use a tweaker this time? No. Nope. No tweaker. Right, any question on that? Who does it? You do. Well done. And say hello to the camera. Jerome, as many teddy bears as we can. Right, teddy bears, clips on. Ready in the cockpit? Ready for it? Ready! Okay, Mike Furby, it's all on you. No one's looking. Beautiful. Here comes attack. Mind yourself, mind yourself. Okay, get better hugging. Okay, Manuel, let's get sorting the tack line. Jerome, let's get rigging up the next kite sheet. Right, four deck, ready. ready. Cockpit, ready. ready. Helm, ready. ready. Go, go, go. Pop, 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 
You got me saving the kite on it. No, I haven't seen it. What happened? Right, we're sitting in the middle of the low pressure. There is, there is, there is a blast. There is two knots of wind, and even the lighter of our lighter sails is not flying at the moment. So we're just sitting with the mainsail flapping, and it's not good. They see a current that pushes at like two knots in the right direction, so that's that's a help, but yeah, not good for the ocean sprint. But it is what it is, the wind should come back tomorrow morning. So meanwhile we wait for the run. Okay. <laughs> so you do you want to get involved? No. You sure? Yes. Let me come back on to that particular day. I think it's one of the best call tactically uh, that we've made uh, with Josh on, on this regatta. Because, um, so the, the East uh, Australian coast is full of currents. Uh, if you want to have a better idea graphically, watch uh, Finding Nemo, uh, the part where is the turtle and all the currents. Uh, that's pretty much how it works. There is currents everywhere. At that point, there was a low pressure coming down uh, the east coast of Australia and the fleet uh, split in two different groups. One group with our main competitor that at that point were uh, Zuhai, Chindao, Bermuda as well. Uh, they went uh, along the coast where they would have a little bit of current against them but quite good wind pushing them up the coast. We made the choice to uh, have um, wind against us, go more offshore where the current will be pulling us uh, north. So after 48 hours uh, of beating into the wind, we found ourselves uh, in front of the fleet. So we had uh, managed to gain a competitive advantage out of this move because the, the low pressure kept uh, moving south and our competitors did not manage to make such good gain with uh, the wind in the back and they found themselves kind of the light wind uh, after the low pressure when we uh, managed to get fresher wind first uh, because of the few uh, dozen miles we had gained uh, on the rest of the fleet. It's easy to replay the game afterwards. But at the moment of taking the decision to go offshore, it was really tricky. And we knew that there was a percentage of chance that this could be a pricey mistake. But at the sailing game, sometimes you lose, and sometimes you win. And that time, we won.
it's starting to get really really warm proper Australia warm so we get the umbrella out Why not Lezek? I got the solution for you <laughs> Thank you Mark for wherever you are for this great we're about 120 miles from arrival and basically one long drive since two days all the way in between Australia and the, and the Great Barrier Reef and yeah, everything goes as planned. Tonight we'll be passing the line. Josh, are you stressed? Uh, yeah, massively. <laughs> so Why? Um, because we always muck up. And we haven't mucked up the entire leg, so... We might have found the beginning of a solution to fight the heat. Works pretty well. About 75 miles from the arrival. There's these big clouds building in the back, so it might be eventful till the last minute. the first drive of the leg but how, how far are we from the finish but like 40 miles from the arrival and yeah let's fuck up this drive would it be sad let's see stand by driving crew ready about hands to Wazze Neil John Wayne let's go let's go let's go Drive up. Okay, he's on main. Running back, stay back. Pull. Lazy shit. He's lazy. He's lazy. Big is. Good job. Okay, all main. All main. All right, let's reconnect at this one for guy. Hold Spinnaker, perfect. Good job, guys! Manuel, what happened? Oh, <laughs> fucked up a little bit. <laughs> it's grinding up the line, and now we have a tech line around the bar spring. Oh no! Alright, let's see if we can fix this in a harmonious manner. So, I'm going to rig the, um, the full guy under the sink of the bowsprit, just to use as tack line. So I'll, I'll first, I'll connect it to the tack directly, ask you to grind on it, and then ease on tack line. I disconnect the tack, pass it around, reclip it, grind on the tack, ease on the fall guy, done. Yeah. Okay, hold. Grind on four guy! Okay, grind on tack. Right, for the 
Cockpit ready. Cockpit ready. Okay, bearing away. Blow the tuck. Go letter box. Go Ivan. Alright guys, one cheer and then we focus on the on the maneuver, okay? You have loads of space, one boat lands. All right, and still two meters closing, one meter. Make fast, 